Imagine you were invited to a modded Minecraft tournament, but then you forgot you were invited to that tournament and all of the other contestants had been training for it for months. Well, you hadn't played in like half a year. And so you realized you had about 10 minutes to figure out a strategy to not get yourself stomped into oblivion. Hi, uh, I'm Mac and I successfully broke a Minecraft tournament. All right, a bit of backstory. So I got invited to Chrono Craft's first Halloween tournament. And if you don't know what Chrono Craft is, it's basically just a huge combat mod for Minecraft. You know, big stuff, big stuff. Now, I wasn't invited because I was a god at the game. Are you jumping on my corpse, you little sh- The devs just saw my last video on it and asked me to join. I was vastly underprepared to go up against some of the other people in this tournament as I hadn't played in so long, I forgot where I had the game installed. If you aren't able to join right now, what you need is a Minecraft account and the ChronoCraft launcher. So if you go to- Where the fuck do I have the game here. installed, bro? I don't know where I have it yeah. installed. But I wasn't about to let my lack of experience stop me. And when I say I broke the tournament, I meant it. The host started inviting us in for initial briefing and I was a little lost. Crackle, I'm actually gonna pull you into chat. Uh, where are you right now? I don't know. I'm just I'm I'm naked and I have two shields. That's that's good start. Good start. So how how have you been? How you doing? Um, I've been good. Doing things. Yeah. I still hadn't come up with a plan at this point, so I decided to be a bit misleading. I explained that I wanted to go with the two shield strategy. I think that my that that this uh this two shield strategy actually could be very beneficial because <laughs> if, if if I can block my if if you know I block at every angle, people can never hit me, and they will eventually get bored and want to hop off the game, and then I will will win by default. Which is objectively the worst strat in the game because when you hold two shields, it doesn't let you block with either of them. That's a bold strategy. It's better protection than Trojan's products. All right, well then. I, I wouldn't know, I don't have sex. Um, anyway. So you might be thinking at this point, what did he actually do to break this tournament? It seems like he's got nothing so far. And normally you would be correct. But before the tournament, we were allowed some practice time. And this is where I discovered the bow. All right, context. Up to this point in time, Chronocraft has had no ranged weapons. The bow was the first new weapon besides the sword and shield. And because it was so new, no one knew how to use it yet. I tried it out and made a discovery. Dodging in the game lets you negate all damage for a short period of time. Well, I found out that I could hold down an arrow to charge a shot and at any time dodge to avoid any incoming damage and it wouldn't lose my charge. This meant that I could reliably arrow spam without ever having to pull out my shield. <laughs> <laughs> Get fucked, idiot. Everyone was planning to use melee the sword and shield. <laughs> and I accidentally discovered a strategy that hard counters it. So with this newfound knowledge, I went into the arena with full confidence. My first match was against Small Ruben. Let's begin. Three, two, one, go. Game one of Small Ruben versus McCrackle. Oh, it takes a few arrow hits for it. Backs up, she keeps trying to pepper him with arrows, it's an arrow. Crackle just has to hit one more arrow, whereas Ruben has to hit quite a few more hits that one more arrow and gets the kill. That is 1-0 McCrackle over small Ruben. I then intentionally, totally, 100% true, got shat on in my next round because I wanted to use mind games to lull my opponent into a full sense of security. McCrackle takes a few hits, his one hit, he loses. <laughs> McCrackle loses game two. Wow. What a change. Oh my god, game. I got shat on. First one being he didn't suspect a thing. Crackle going for the air charge into the arrows, just letting him walk it. Shield damage in. Gets a block, goes for more arrows, gets an arrow hit. It's very even. This is looking more like game one. Hits him once passing by. Hits him with an arrow. This is very close. Very, very close. Hits the shield, hits the shield, does mad shield damage. Goes in for the shield breaker, takes some hits for it. A crackle down to one HP. Ruben down to two or three. Crackle's not abandoning the arrow strategy, just trying to get these hits in. They're both so low. It's gotta be, right? One or two, maybe? Ruben down to one. Ruben loses. McCrackle wins 2 1 and another 1 HP nail biter. That is. I said I was using mind games. I wasn't kidding. I managed to win my first game with basically no health left. And I really do want to interview McCrackle on that last game. <laughs> and. And I had a chance to talk to my next opponent, Cosmic. Your next game will be against Cosmic. How are you feeling about that? Um, I don't know who he is, but I can <laughs> promise you with a, around 30% certainty that I will destroy him. All right, with around 30%. Well, that's uh, that's definitely a number. Um, any final words before, you know, you come up to your match? Um, Cosmic, if you can hear me right now, uh, I hope you have a very, very nice Christmas because... I'm going to win, and that might reduce the quality of your Christmas if you lose. All right.
All right, thank you for those kind-ish final words. Then they brought Cosmic on, and my intricate mind games were clearly getting to him. I think he just put my Christmas at stake, so I think I have to try hard now. Uh, <laughs> my, my Christmas is very important to me. <laughs> McCrackle, you know what? I hope you have a nice Christmas as well. However, um, um, you know... Yeah, actually, no, no, he's, he's probably gonna win, though. Cosmic was right to be scared, because now I was a bow-wielding fucking animal. Game one of McCrackle versus Cosmic. I was even at the point where I was confident enough to do shield parries. Be on the air, nothing. Gets to the second parry, the first one was a bait. This match was a sweep for me. We had a well-fought battle, but I quickly took the first round. And McCrackle takes game one. What a close game. I'm definitely gaming. And now time for round two. Game two, Cosmic versus McCrackle. We see him trying to go in. McCrackle hit him a few times with those arrows. Oh, gets a side dash, gets two hits on McCrackle Shield, misses a parry, gets two hit punish for it, gets the next parry. One, two, three four hits off of the punish. That's a very good punish, especially since two of those were shield breakers. Oh, gets a couple of hits in, misses, the, they both miss parries. Goes for the parry and misses. Goes, goes for the parry and gets it. It's punish time. Oh, it gets the, oh, it gets parried in return. Crack is just thinking, don't touch me. Gets it, Cosmic gets in, gets a couple of hits. Cosmic now ahead of McCrackle. McCrackle's running away. But then, disaster struck. I let Cosmic get too many hits, and then he managed to stun me with my own arrow. Cosmic gets the parry with the arrow instead of choosing, pulling the bow out to finish him. He tries to go in to finish him. Tries to get another parry on the arrow, on the arrow misses it, comes into one hit, tries to get another parry, misses but he misses the arrow, tries to get another parry, misses and loses. But it wasn't enough, and I took my match against Cosmic. Oh, <laughs> Cosmic. Your Christmas Dang, is fucking ruined! <laughs> How am I doing this? <laughs> Rest in peace, Cosmic's Christmas. I'm in the top! I'm in the top fucking four. What a, what a game. This is this is what I meant. Anyone could take it. The guy who said he was gonna go in with the double shield strategy <laughs> is top four. <laughs> That's pretty astounding. I said there was a 30% chance, but I am very lucky. And now because of that game, we were pulled into another interview. Hey guys, what a game. That was so close. Oh my gosh, dude, I was so close, man. If I would have just dashed. Uh, I was gaming. I'm I'm sorry for your Christmas. Oh no, but your Christmas oh, is yes. now mine. You, um, I get to decide what you get for Christmas. You guys ever uh, hear of canned whole chicken? If I win next time for Thanksgiving, you have to eat a canned <laughs> whole chicken without even warming it up. <laughs> it was also at this time that I noticed everyone else started using the bow, like, a lot more after they watched me do it. And Electro. Like, we haven't seen a whole lot of people, like, just going range, and that was pretty much all range outside of that little scuffle in game Have two. Have I been influencing this tournament by showing people that the bow is good? Chrono Craft has really in-depth swordplay, and I just broke it down to arrow spam. I am a hazard upon this community. Now this is where things got serious. My next match was with Kiona, oh, who was the current three-time champion and crowd favorite. How's it going, oh, Kion? All right, so you heard Kurt, you're the favorite to win this tournament this time. What do you, what do you think about that? You know, when someone's always a favorite, man, they usually lose. My bullshit tactics weren't going to work here. I actually had to bring in some serious skill. Let's see if I can beat the champion. Three, two, one, go. It's game one. Crackle pulls out the bow early. Keon responds back and actually hits him with the first arrow. Crackle, not taking that lightly, hits him with another arrow and does major shield damage with arrows. Does even more. Crackle gets one arrow back at him. Keon trying to dash him. Crackle dashing out, just peppering him with those arrows. Keon hits the shield, thought misses, backs up, hits him with more arrows. You know, from the little we've seen, I would say McCrackle has the advantage with arrows, but Keon's had much more time to practice, so who knows? Maybe Keon's gonna be a lot better. It looks like they're very even, though. Back and forth, Keon getting more hits than McCrackle now. Keon put the shield down, he took an arrow for it. Trying to dash in, Crackle backs up, hits him again with another arrow, hits him with another arrow. Crackle just on fire with these arrows. It's, hits him again. Oh, Keon tried to go in, but he stuffed him with that arrow because arrows cancel momentum. It's something we learned today. Misses the parry. This is Keon's chance to capitalize. He gets some good damage. Crackle gets around him, gets a hit back, hits him with another arrow. Keon down to three, two, three hits. Crackle trying to just keep his distance with these arrows and time it to where he can hit Keon when he drops his shield. Oh, oh, Keon down to one HP. McCrackle is in the pond. McCrackle is going to be stuck. Can't afford to take these hits. Keon has a broken shield. It's back. Crackle trying really hard to hit him with this arrow. Keon goes in for the shield breaker. 
McCrackle gets out of the pond. Now Keon's in the pond. Keon taking all this shield damage. It's a broken shield. McCrackle just needs to connect one more arrow, but his shield comes back in time. Bo deals broke Grace's shield, just has to get one more hit on him. Could hit him with anything. Gets the hit. McCrackle takes game one over Keon. I managed to win round one. McCrackle just stuffing all of Keon's approaches. <laughs> McCrackle <laughs> stuffing Keon on almost every approach. I'm stuffing him. I barely managed to win the first round. I just had to win one more. Go. Q and I had started to adopt my strategy of using the bow a lot more. Keon gets the first early hits onto McCrackle, who takes two arrows. It's on the other foot. Keon's going in with the bow, and McCrackle's on the back foot shielding. McCrackle gets his first arrow hit. Keon dashes in, gets one sword hit before McCrackle can dash out and use that bow. While Keon's trying to go in, but McCrackle gets the parry. Gets two hits on him before he backs out and starts using the bow again. Gets hit for once in return, gets shield, some shield damage. It's a full damage shield and takes two hits because of it gets a broken shield. Trying to block these arrows and not take any damage because he knows that once he starts getting hit, it's going to be a slippery slope. They're just trading blows, but if they keep doing that, Crackle's on the losing end. Hits, hits his shield twice, hits his shield. No, that miss up short. Keon had properly understood the strategy, and this round was looking a lot more rough. Keon no longer has a shield, and just going to go to the dash game. Takes one arrow for it. Now he's about one or two hits above McCrackle. Now he's three to four. Takes a bit more damage. This is way even. Oh, KFM, or Keon. <laughs> Keon goes in, gets a broken shield. McCrackle does a few hits, gets a few more. It's getting closer, but oh, dodges, dodges Keon going around. But he's really low health. I don't know how long he can afford to just stay back because now Keon can stay back and just pepper arrows and if they trade, McCrackle's on the losing end. Keon trying to find his way in again. McCrackle not having him. McCrackle misses the parry. But he, I didn't mean to hit that. he misses a parry again oh. and he gets punished for it and that makes Fuck, it 1-1. One, one. I didn't mean to do that. Fiona managed to beat me in the second round. I only had one chance left to redeem myself. Game three, three, two, one, go. And we're off on game three, Keon versus McCrackle. Crackle whiffing or hitting shield. Oh, gets the hit. And one and one. Oh, McCrackle gets another hit. That's two hits on Keon. Keon tries to dash in, but McCrack McCrackle backs up. McCrackle takes one hit. Gets the parry on Keon, who tried to dash around. Gets hit twice for it. Gets hit third time with an arrow. Keon gets the shield up, but starts pulling out the bow and taking hits. Keon on the back foot right now. Keon just dancing around him, trying to get something to work here. Crackle just trying, just getting around all of it. It's like he's reading Keon like a book. Crackle breaks Keon's shield. Keon dashing, using all his stamina to dash in. Doesn't get the hit for it. Crackle getting out of there and just going back to the bow. Keeps getting these one-off hits every time Keon tries to go in. Whiffs the parry. This is Keon's chance for a big punish. Gets two hits. Back to the bow and arrow game. Bolt just outpacing the other one. Keon dashes in trying to get the hits with the sword. Doesn't end up doing it and gets hit his shield hit with a couple arrows for it. Takes a hit as soon as he drops shield. Crackle's timing has been on point with those arrows every time Keon drops shield. I don't know about you guys, but it would make me scared to drop shield, but then you can't let your shield get broken or you're at a bigger disadvantage than if you just get hit. And his shield is broken, McCrackle peppering him with these arrows. But Keon takes advantage of McCrackle's greediness and goes in and gets two or three hits. Bringing it very close to even, McCrackle just trying to go at him with this bow. Gets the hit when Keon goes for his own bow, breaks Keon's shield. Keon goes back to the bow instead of trying to go in. McCrackle getting hit a few times. Goes in. McCrackle's going back to the bow, trying to keep Keon at a distance. Keon just keeping that shield up, and as soon as he drops shield, he hits him. That's insane. The timing is so crazy. They're just trading arrows. Gets gets the hit once he dashes in, misses. He's backed himself into a corner. This might be Keon's chance. Crackle gets out of there, gets out of the corner, starts shooting arrows at him again, hitting his shield. And Crackle's just reading whenever he's going to drop shield, but Keon gets the dash in. They're both really low, just a few hits from death. It was at this point that I was at incredibly low HP. Any mistakes would cost me everything. Shield taking big damage, and Crackle backing himself the other, break the shield again. Tries him with the arrow, McCrackle one hit, both hit one hit from death, both one hit from death. And oh Crackle my God! takes it. <laughs> McCrackle <laughs> takes it on last hit, last stock, last game. <laughs> it does not get closer than that. It, it truly man. does not get closer.
That yeah. is that is next level. I managed to beat the champion. The crowd was fucking dumbstruck, and I was truly the strongest man. Wait a minute. Uh, that was actually the semifinals. Oh, I just have one more fight. So I shouldn't be too. Oh fuck. It did, but it missed anyway. Crackle backs up, gets a strike in, but Krima going in with the sword, hits him a few times down the oh, one HP, but Crackle God. loses, Krima wins, pulls something out of the bag and stay alive, or if Krima can just finish it, Fuck. Ah, and it looks like Krima no. finished. I stand by my statement of being the strongest man, because that's not a fucking man. Hey, if you enjoyed, make sure to, to spam more arrows.